All right, we got Chill again. We got a lot of brands in the building, you know what I'm saying? We got LaQuinn, we got EA, we got my boy Top Gun, we got Leg Room Productions. We're going to be talking about various topics. We just want y'all to tune in. Hope y'all learn something from it. Yes, sir. E. Come from the trenches. Hashtag SOB, we standing on business. Never come up short, always come with actions. You know what they would say if you knew better, you do better. You turn one, take it to two, and then turn two to five. If you do that, two. You don't watch, you don't watch the show Atlanta, do you? I heard it was good. Cool, well, we'll keep on going. You watch Atlanta talk? Yeah, yeah it's a show with a. Uh, it's called ATL. Or... It's called Atlanta, but they they do show ATL. Nice. Well, I guess I can't make no fucking funny jokes about that last two. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a dope show. But it's just a part on there where they uh they beat the cameraman ass fucking up the camera. But right, but ain't <laughs> you're right, boy. That ain't gonna happen since it's a cameraman show. But uh. I wanted to ask y'all about uh, about music, man. Especially since uh, my homeboy Biggs, he's a uh, he's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? He's a local artist. Matter of fact, he's a nationwide artist. Uh, he's been down the south, southwest. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to go national, but uh, I want to ask y'all, man, what y'all feel about the state of music, like specifically about hip hop, since we black men, and specifically about hip hop, since you do hip hop. Um, I can't go first, so if you want to go first, feel free. Uh, the state is in. Uh I feel like, uh, in my opinion, I don't Speak up, nigga. Don't get all soft and timid on me. Speak uh, up. Let's talk like we're talking <laughs> at the crib. Will you curse me out? I'm cursing you out. Look, first of all, no, I'm just playing. I mean, I feel like I'm on my chill shit right now, man. I'm on yeah. chill. Damn, I'm can chill. I chill? Right. Talk to you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Damn. Anyways, uh, I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like the, in my honest opinion, the music, I never felt like it has ever been like in a bad state. It probably was in okay. a state that I probably didn't agree with, you know what I'm okay. saying? But you know what I'm saying? Music is music, you know what I'm saying? Fair. You get what I'm right, saying, right, exactly. Right, and right. I feel like it, it comes with the time you in, you know what I'm saying? So right now, I feel like I feel like the music is... Uh, how y'all doing? We good, brother. How you doing? Uh, I feel like right now, the music... Uh, in my opinion, it's in a state, uh, like you said, I'm a musician myself, and no lie, um, i just been taking in the knowledge, not, a lot of knowledge, figuring out what I got to do, understanding the game, and it's one of those, I love the music that's going on, but it's like, I feel like it's in a state to where I can do my thing, you get what I'm saying, it's like ain't nobody I, that I got to worry about comparing with, because I'm doing my own thing, you know, and ain't nobody like, oh, damn, I need to stop. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like music has always been in a good state, and right now it's in a state I feel like I could take over. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't mean to disrespect my own boy Top because he do music too. So Top, I ask you the same question. How you feel about the state of man, music, like, specifically hip hop? Like I said, man, I, I know music is therapy. You know, so it's really to there to express yourself when you don't have nobody, no shoulder to lean on, no ear to talk to. You know, so everything. Getting that music, man, is really. You know you take yourself away, man. You express yourself Straight instead up. of doing something on the streets and checking out. True, <laughs> true. The music, you know. Straight take up. take that anger out on the beat. <laughs> I think I, I think that's something I had to uh, realize as I got older, because I think like I kind of fell out of love with hip hop because it's, it's kind of violent, and I ain't, I've grown less violent the older I got. But I had to realize, like you said, it's therapy, you know. So I can't look down on it like it's a bad thing, because when I needed it, it was there for me, you know. what I'm saying to keep me out of the streets when I needed a, a violent outlet, yeah. it was yeah. there for me. So it's like that's just something that I got. To comprehend as I get older is that it is it is therapeutic even if not for me for other niggas for other women for other people even for white people shit you know what I'm saying all right we all parents up here right even uh, our cameraman leg in productions he's a he's a parent too he has a daughter so I got daughters and son my homeboy top I'm pretty sure he got daughters and sons and my homeboy big got daughters so I want to know asking y'all gentlemen like what's the difference between raising your daughter and raising your son like what what how do you do that different like how do you do it the same what's your rules that's tough man it's tough because it's it's a it's a thin line but you also like i go hard on my boys you know yeah. i go hard on my boys i got two boys on true i go hard on my boys but i also i go not as hard on my daughter but i still let her know like you know if you I still go, yeah, you can't you can't sugarcoat nothing. Like you can't, and you can't you can't go soft on them. Right, female. just because she's a female. I agree. I agree. Just as tough. Just as tough. You want her to be the female version of yourself, right? Oh, man. Yeah. So it's like, you know, and then like in this generation, man, 
I think we have broke the generation of curse because there is a lot of us that fall in house. Well, it's about a feel. Right it's about a fathers now. It's some it's generations like our generation and before us, fathers wasn't in the house. So now are these women, these young ladies today, they're gonna turn out to be more strong, more knowledgeable, more powerful because they had both parents and know. I feel that. You know? I feel that. So, yeah. Yeah. What about you, Biggs? How you feel about it, man? Um, honestly, I think that was the top in your question. You know what I'm saying? Because I probably got my daughter. Uh, no, nah, but I think it's a lot of men out here with just daughters, or it's a lot of people out here with just sons. So okay. I'm still interested in your opinion. Uh, thank you for I appreciate that, nigga. Um, well, I just want to say I got the best daughter in the whole world. Uh, Ia world coming, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Ia, man, she's three years old and like the smartest child. So she is smart as hell. So, so it, it's one of those things. I appreciate you asking me the question because it's I'm not dealing with a kid who don't know. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm dealing with a child who's just picking up on everything, gonna repeat anything, gonna tell you the truth. Um, so I feel like raising her and her being my first baby, she gets overall everything you know what i'm saying kind of you know what i'm saying in a way to where she's not gonna ask mommy for anything she's gonna ask. right right you know right, right. Uh, that's when i think about when it and is in the house they're team dad. <laughs> yeah. they're team dad she's gonna, uh, she gonna ask me for show sure. so but i i feel like uh that's where it can get complicated with me and that's why i'll be asking y'all um like you know what i'm saying because i be stern but then i People get mad at me for being too stern, like she's only three. But I'm like, she's smarter than she, she, she. Yeah. She's smarter than in the house. I'll pick her up, like, don't yell at her, but she be looking at your shoulder at me, smiling. You know what What's that, that song that playing? Your love, the, uh, the, the TikTok trend. Uh, which one? Uh, your love is toxic. It, it would it be like, like? No, no, real talk, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, it just like that. So, man, it's one of those. So I feel like, uh, I feel like if you, if, if you, if you know your child, understand. You gotta stay on them, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I wouldn't be as far as I am in my life without through how hard my mom was on me, you know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like I would have gotten a lot more trouble, you know what I'm saying? So sure. she was just on me, and I want to put that on, on my daughter a little bit like, hey, I'm, I'm your parent, I'm not your friend, you know what I'm saying? I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna start you in no different type of direction that you and, shouldn't be. And we have to make them know we're on their side, yeah, even when yes. you're wrong, yes. even when we're correcting them or disciplining them. Fact. They have to know that we're on their side no matter what. But I think uh, I like that. <laughs> You're right. I think my daughter's taught me communication. Like they, they break down. Like, as soon as you start getting in, they, they break down. So that, like my daughter, like I'll, as soon as I raise my voice, my it's over with. Yeah, yeah, it's right. over with. Like, I'm, and I'm trying to just give her games where she went wrong. Right, right. I'm not blaming you or nothing, but when I'm giving you your pointers of where you went wrong and where not to go again, she automatically bring down. Right. So it's like I gotta, I gotta break you down and build you up. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think that's important for having daughters. You're right. Because yeah, I got I two. It. One's a little more sensitive than the other. But you're right. It's like I when you it. talk to them. After you talk to them and you make your point, you gotta talk to them again. Hey, that's yeah. still love you. I'm not, I'm not talking to you because I'm mad at you because I'm disappointed. I'm talking to you because if I don't, you are gonna make the same mistake over and over. I heard that. I heard over that. and over. I'm gonna say like, I think the difference between uh, having a daughter and having a son is. You care about your daughters more, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it real. Like, uh, if the cops had to be somebody ass, it ain't gonna be my daughter. Automatically. It ain't, my, it ain't, <laughs> it ain't gonna be my daughter. I'm not gonna volunteer her, shit. It's true. <laughs> so what a guy, my son could take it. He's strong like me, but my daughter, nah, man. I raised you to take it. You was with her? You supposed to. You supposed to. You protected. That's well, believe that. I believe that. I would see that. I would go under the bus. I take the bullets. Right. If I'm not around, that's that's, that's your job. You next in line. For sure. That's why you're junior. For sure. Yeah. I'm shitting. Sure. Automatic. Go to right. We go check out. We, but over Mom Duke said, uh, "Baby girl, my daughter." You got to. Hey, yeah. Listen, man. Hey, man. What's County. up? <laughs> What's so crazy is uh, after I get off the shit I'm about to bring up, niggas gonna have to tap in the sun because CC not here, man. Yeah. Shout out to CC. CC would already took us to another level. Oh, CC. Because, man, she, you know, you gonna be back, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but uh, right. on, some, on some real shit, man, somebody, no, no, no weird shit. Uh, we, uh, we chilling the other day watching a game. The homeboy was like, man, 
He's like, man, I, I ain't got no dad figure or nothing, man. He's like, I ain't gonna lie. He's like, man, my, my mom, my hero, you know what I'm saying? And and it's like he put me on game just because if you would have asked me who my hero was, I would have told you my daughter or my or my little cousin that's in the service right now who across seas, Bay Bay. I would have told you them, which they are my heroes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but just uh, when he brought it up and said his mom, I'm like, man, Keep real. I mean, which any of my, I, I any of his, neither, any, any of my, yeah. any of my people that know me or my fans, anything, they would be like, oh, his mom, you know what I'm saying? But in my head, you know what I'm saying? Mom would just, you know what I'm saying? Mom, you know what I'm saying? Um, nigga, I'm like, nigga, my mom, my biggest hero. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, on oh, some real nigga, I gotta stop talking about it. You know what I'm saying? But. Now I just want to shout out. I'm going to give your mama her flowers. She's your biggest hero and your biggest fan. Man, you know what I'm saying? So sure. Bro. Your little brother, T, your big tighter, though. You know? <laughs> you're calling me fucking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm shout, out, shout out T. Shout out T. <laughs> well, on that note, yeah, man. Especially in coming, if you come from a single parent home to where mom is holding both both weeks. So you, she's going to be she gonna be the hero. I you see, know? man, I think that's so crazy, too. Happen, look, look, make it happen. We all come from. Your mom, your single like mom, right? Single like mom, single like mom, right? But we all in our kids' lives, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that like, dynamic, just crazy. Like, yeah. That's why like, it has off to mama. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. I wouldn't be the man that I am without my mom. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, man. I, I, I can honestly say, man, women can raise boys to men. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You're living proof. No, no, I'm living proof, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm dog. I'm telling you. I just wanted to say that, man. Shout out to mom, man. Got like, mom do, uh, hey, yeah. mom do so over in the DR right now for her birthday. <laughs> How you doing, you doing? Mama Lisa? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, mom? You know what it is. Hey, hey, gay. Oh, the things, man. Hey, and it's what, man? Just to just to stay on something with it. It's one of those things. Like I had motherfuckers tell me before. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you and your mom's like real close you know what i'm saying I, I don't know why we can't be that close type of thing or what however the situation is and it's one of those to my females yeah yeah in a way um and it's one of those man um first of all is you can't compare somebody to your mom but it's i feel like to break it down it's like an uh, unconditional type of love thing to where even if true mom, yeah, yeah no true you have to emphasize the unconditional love type of thing and, and it's like you can't just have love for me you know what i'm saying you can't just love me and want to be with me it's like you got to have unconditional yeah. love you know what i'm saying i know i could go yeah. running back to mom man, man me and mom brides is just in each other's faces you know what i'm saying and i know you know one of us about to hit each other it ain't, it ain't like i'm never about to lose her you know what i'm saying it's like when that that's what makes the difference you know what right. what I'm i feel like anytime i will argue with a female i gotta worry about losing you, you know what I'm saying? But with my mom, you said we gonna get our point across when I ain't gotta ever work. Might about be a losing. day, might be two yeah. days. Whenever the right, case is, right, you right, know right. what I'm saying? It's just one of those for me. And you you got to put the unconditional on it. You know what I'm saying? So don't compare yourself to nobody or try to without putting the unconditional on it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to be the deal break. Let me ask y'all this. This question just came to my head talking about our mama. So what you think will be different or what you think you lack since we grew up with our daddies? Oh shit, it might be nothing, right? It might be nothing, but I'm just curious. Like, what you think you, because me personally, I think it's like. Hey, I know there's a few things that, you know, that we probably will be more of a time to strip with all. Or, you know, there's things that I don't got late. Right. There's things that right, I got late in my, right, t- in my right. 30s that I know in my I'm teams. putting on my son that's a freshman right now. So I tell him, you got the cheat code. I'm in your life. So I'm going to give you the sauce at 14, 15 when I got at 20. Yeah, right. That's right. Where, right. You feel me? No, no. I got a hand yeah, uh, No, and, the, the and that's the difference right the there. Code. That's the difference right there because uh, my homeboys taught me how to play basketball. My cousins taught me how to fight. My uncle taught me how to rap. You know what I'm saying? My mom taught me how to hustle. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like... I feel like if I would have had somebody in house, in home, I would have already been on that doing oh, double. What I do now, what I had to learn in my 20s and 30s, <laughs> I would have took the 20s. would have came out the gate at 21. Man, and, 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 and I heard nothing but good stories about the man, how he was a money maker doing this, <laughs> doing that, the coolest nigga you will know, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm like, man, I'm thinking of. I'm, I'm down south, right, calling up here. They're like, man, your daddy on the car line, he, he got Cadillacs, he got three folks. I get up here, he got, he got a, a four Fiesta. <laughs> And some minute man steak, man. I said, what? It was a 13 hour drive. Like, see, my situation is different. 